Hello everyone, I'm DIY Debra, and welcome to my channel, where we'll be covering food, recipes, lifestyle, and DIY, specializing in gluten and dairy-free. If this is something that you enjoy, please come along with me. Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be preparing three common side dishes Americans enjoy when celebrating Thanksgiving. Now being Canadian, we just finished up having our Canadian Thanksgiving, but I thought, you know what? Let's see what our American counterparts and neighbors have when they're enjoying their Thanksgiving celebration. So hopefully I got them right and that these are dishes that actually Americans enjoy having at Thanksgiving. So we're going to be doing a green bean casserole, a crock pot mac and cheese, and a maple, maple glazed Brussels sprouts. So let's get making some fabulous food. The first recipe, the maple roasted Brussels sprouts. I took four slices of maple smoked bacon, put it on a baking sheet lined with aluminum foil and baked in the oven at 400 until done. I then took one pound of Brussels sprouts and soaked them in a bowl of water for approximately an hour before dicing off the ends and cutting them up to place them on the baking sheet and roast them. It is best to soak them in water to try and reduce any bitter taste. So in order for these Brussels sprouts to roast evenly in the oven, I cut off the brown ends and cut them in half so that they would all approximately be the same size for best result in roasting. If you happen to enjoy my content, please do all the youtube -y things and hit that subscribe button. Don't forget to hit that notification bell and be notified every time I upload new videos. It really helps support my channel. So once our Brussels sprouts have all been cut and cleaned, we're then going to take a couple of tablespoons of olive oil and drizzle over the Brussels sprouts. Then we're then going to be taking our maple syrup and as well a couple of tablespoons drizzle, drizzle over the top of the Brussels sprouts and then we're going to be spicing it up. Now I add some salt and pepper, but you can also add some garlic powder or garlic salt or cumin, whatever the heart's desire. Spice, spice your Brussels sprouts how you like and prefer them. Once everything has all been added, we're then going to mix our Brussels sprouts and combine the olive oil, maple syrup, and the spices. And I'm then going to be placing the Brussels sprouts back onto the baking sheet on the aluminum foil that had the maple bacon so that the Brussels sprouts absorb all of the taste and the flavors from the bacon and will be absolutely delicious. I wish you could smell everything. I'm then going to take the baking pan of Brussels sprouts and place them in the oven in a middle rack at 400 degrees for approximately 20 minutes or until they're uh, nicely cooked. So once they're completely roasted, you can take them out of the oven. We're then going to be putting them in a baking dish and topping with our maple bacon that we've like crumbled up into pieces. Sprinkle that over top mix well and voila there you have it maple roasted brussels sprouts mm -mm -mm. delicious so moving on to the next recipe the crock pot mac and cheese we're going to be taking 454 gram bag of noodles i am using the spirally gluten-free noodles we're going to rinse them really well, and then we're going to be adding all of the ingredients into our crock pot. So we're first going to take some olive oil spray and spray and line the bottom of the crock pot so that everything won't be really, really sticky. Then we're going to be adding two and a half cups of a plant-based milk. Even though this recipe is not dairy-free, I'm still using the ingredients that I have in the house normally. So here I'm using two and a half cups of original oat milk. I'm then gonna add a couple of dollops of sour cream. And then I'm going to add 
one cup of Monterey Jack, a half a cup of marble cheddar, and a cup of grated Parmesan. I'm then going to be adding our spices. I first start off with some sea salt, then I'm going to add some pepper, some garlic powder, as well as some red chili cayenne pepper flakes. And we're also going to add a couple of tablespoons of mustard, or you could also use mustard powder. You then place in the top of your crock pot a half a cup of butter or your plant-based butter or margarine. Then you're going to place the lid on top and let it cook on low for approximately after one hour, you can stir it up. And then it may need one to two hours to cook in the crock pot after this. Now, this is something that you're going to need to start early in the day so that it will be done at the time when everything else is complete. Once this was done, I'm not sure where my footage went, but once this was done, I placed the mac and cheese in a casserole dish and I topped with some breadcrumbs and some cheddar cheese and baked in the oven so that the top was all nice and bubbly and cheesy and some wonderful deliciousness. So that's what you would do after your mac and cheese is all done in the crock pot. Moving on to our third recipe, you're going to be taking some fresh green beans. Now I use fresh green beans. The recipe you can use canned green beans and frozen green beans, but for the sake of this video, I'm using fresh green beans. So you take approximately two cups of green beans. Now I am breaking them in half and taking off any um, anything on the ends that need to be broken off and placing them in the bottom of our casserole dish. I'm then adding one can of cream of mushroom soup. We're then going to add a half a cup of milk as well as a couple of teaspoons of soy sauce. We're going to try and mix this up really well as well as adding your spices, your salt, your pepper, and we're gonna mix it all up. And I'm also going to top it with some fried onions. And we're going to bake this in the oven at 375 for approximately 35 minutes. So after topping some fried onions on our casserole, this is what it's going to look like going into the oven. After approximately 15 to 20 minutes in the oven, I did open and stir up the casserole mixture. And once it came back out of the oven, after approximately 35 minutes, I then stirred it up well and topped with some more fried onions. And there you have it, your green bean casserole. Mm -mm -mm. Oh my gosh, you're making me so hungry. So that's my attempt at three American Thanksgiving side dishes. Thank you so much for joining me today. See you soon.